Minibus operators flying the number 44 East Coast route today took strike action calling for an increase in fares, leaving several passengers and school children stranded along the route. Operators from the Mahaika, Ansgrove, Better Hope, Annandale, Lusignan and Munry Post routes are all part of the strike. This they claim is as a result of the increase for fuel at local service stations over the last few days. The operators are saying once the price for fuel is reduced, they will resume operations. As right now, the, the gas is skyrocketing. It's over $1,000. We're paying for a gallon of gas. We can't pay. From, Mel from Tong to Pleasant, $100. Is the fear. From Tong to Victoria, it's 120 You can't pay bus owners and driving cars to walk for their money. Now. You understand? So we, can we can't either for the government drop the gas or for a fear increase. That's what we want. Because they can't pay right now. It's so affecting me real terrible, man. I got the gas expensive and thing. And looking for increase, man. Because at the end of the day, we don't really make nothing much. And if we get something from them, you know, at least you're doing something for gain, not for lose. And at all times, you know, that if an more, I just operate at 10 more, and more to town. And it's 120, and the 120 there on long. And it's high time now if we get something. Man. The men also argued that since 2004, they hadn't a fair increase. They are calling for as much as $40 more on their fares. As immediately we want it. Immediately. Because we're not working. If it takes a month, it'll be a month to be out here. Let the government bring the big bus, they won't bring the bus, no problem. And let them pick up the bird and see how it is. The mission, they, they have no idea what people go through on this road here. From Tongue to Enmore, they still want P120. We're looking for 160 from Tongue to Enmore because charge up gas. Sunday, we born $12,500 gas. By the time I finish, I can't get a proper DP. I can't work for $2,000 a day. The gas in drop, well, we need no way. With the car, you walk in. Show the whole day, you go home with and and then you DP. I ain't looking for the fair much raise, you understand? I mean I ain't looking for three hundred dollars because when I go to the park yesterday afternoon, the people them paying three hundred dollars to go home from Barbie's bus yesterday afternoon. So if they're paying the Barbie's bus three hundred dollars, I ask them for three hundred dollars too, you understand? I mean? However, late yesterday afternoon, Minister of Industry and Commerce Mani Ram Prashad said that passengers should not pay the increased fares since the gas prices have not passed the $1,000 mark. It's a gradual increase. If they didn't do that, maybe it would have been quite a But what the government is doing is the excise tax, which is 50%, uh, they're reducing the excise tax. So as the price, uh, when the price goes down, the excise tax on gasoline and diesel is 50%. It goes down to 15%. So the government uh, is in fact subsidizing their millions of dollars. Uh, they're subsidizing, subsidizing gas prices to make sure there is affordable transportation. A check at one gas station today showed no sharp increases. At Texaco service station, gasoline is now $822 per gallon, while diesel is $844 per gallon. One service dealer confirmed that the prices have increased just by $7. The operator said they will continue to strike until the government addresses their concerns. Reporting for Capital News, Nadine Luters.